Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of Torchlight Infinite's PC port. Yes, no more cell phone for me, no more thumbs, no more having to use a capture card and do all this crazy stuff to record videos. No, I can just play Torchlight Infinite in its glory as it's meant to be played on PC. And as of right now, I've been playing the game maybe for two or three days. I'm under strict NDA. That being said, I've been given permission to make a PC port UI video. So I can't show a ton, but what I can show is kind of what that experience is gonna look like when you are playing this game on PC, all right? And we're gonna start right now, right off the bat. Torchlight Infinite's PC port there are no is, is literally a trillion times better be than the launch version of Diablo Immortal. That does not mean that it is not without faults, but if you're just simply comparing Torchlight to Diablo, two mobile games that had PC ports, this one is much, much, much better, okay? Now, we are gonna go around the screen. First off, this is something that I always ask and I'm glad that they did it. A very small, kind of minimalized, see-through, not taking up a lot of the screen UI. So you can see on here, you've got your life, you've got your mana, you've got your right click, you've got your active skills, and then for me, I have my hero trait, okay? And on here, left click is movement. And there's nothing you can do to change that, which is great. That's how everybody should set it up. Obviously, you have your level down here, active mission, map, frame rates, passive skills that are currently activated, your menus, and that is it. Where my face is at, there is nothing there. It is just screen, which again is how it should be. Now, as far as hot keys on the keyboard, okay? If you click up here, it'll actually show you like B is for bag, K is for skill, talent, outfits, and this is how you do all your quick action to get in. A couple things I wish they changed, like I wish, you know, pack or pets were under P instead of talents, just little things like that. Let's quickly go through the menus so you can see what current options are in there. And of course, everything is subject to change. So when you look at graphics, right now the game is capped at 60 frames. Resolution goes up to whatever screen you are using. I've got my render quality at one, which is maximum. I've got custom, which is high, high, ultra, and high. For sound settings, it is pretty simple. Music, SFX, and voice. Language settings, you could change it to a lot of different languages. Okay. Message settings, world or system. Other in here, just kind of like you're logging out announcements and news. Pick up, so on here you do have loot filters, but they are set by the Torchlight devs. So you have no, tor you have no loot filter, you have basic, intermediate, and advanced, okay? So, and when you click on them, it'll tell you exactly what that means. Right now I am on intermediate. And last but not least, display damage numbers and camera shock. Of course, we turn off camera shock. So those are the settings. Now, Justice one thing that I have already sent late. up to the it development team, something that I feel is so important when it comes to an ARPG is being able to rebind your keys. And unfortunately, in the current iteration of the PC port of Torchlight Infinite, you cannot change the keys. So I'm hoping that they fix that because, you know, I mean, I have an MMO mouse and I want to be able to set all this stuff to my mouse. And obviously I can go into the mouse settings and just put them to the corresponding keys. It's just nice to be able to just change it in game to how I want. I am somebody that does not like having my inventory under B for bag. I want it under I. OK, so again, that's just my personal preference, you know, but everybody does their own thing. All right. So let's go through some of these in game menus on the PC port and we're going to start with our bag. So you'll see my character in here. You can flip them around. You can move them. You've got all your info. So on here, DPS, survival, all of your stats. Your resistances right now for erosion is not very good. And you got your next page. You can actually go through your individual skills and you're going to see the tool tips for each of those skills. You got your resistance, survivor and adventure. 
Now, something that I would want in the future for this PC port is being able to click multiple ways to do things. So for example, you'll see that there's four pages, one, two, three, four, but I can't get to those four pages by actually clicking on the diamonds. I have to click next page. It is the only way to go through them. I know it is something very small, but just it's just an ask of mine, okay? On top of that, when you look at the items in here, you cannot drag and drop them or move them to how you see fit. So I just did a run. This is my loot from that run. So I've got to identify them. And then on here, if I wanted to move this ax to here, I can't drag it. Or if I want to take off these boots, I can't move it. Everything for this would be uninstall and then it would move the boot over or equip and it would put it in, okay? Obviously, not, not a big deal, but when you're playing, you know, a, a next-gen ARPG, some of these quality of life things, like being able to drop and move things is nice. On top of that, the UI feels very, or th at least the bag portion feels very large. Let me give you an example of this. So right now I have two pistols. So when I look at a third pistol, it pulls up three screens and it takes up almost the entire screen, which is fine because obviously it's bold, it's nice, the visuals are good, the text is very, very clear. It shows me the left weapon, what would be the differences, the right weapon, what would be the differences, but sometimes it's hard to click out of this. So if I was like done, I'm literally trying to click out right now, and then I wanna look at these boots, and you're going through, it's like, wait, I wanted to click on something that was right there. Well, I can't do that. I have to click off. And now I got to click again. And you can see what I'm saying is that it's hard to traverse your bag to look through everything. On top of that, check this out. When you click on this item and it pulls up all three and you just want to click off the screen, you can do it down. So you see this, I'm clicking over here and down. But if I click over here, Right now I am clicking. It's not doing it. So there's only certain parts of the screen. So that time it worked. Maybe if I go a little farther out. So I got to go a little farther out. So if I click here, it clicks off. But if I click here, it doesn't. So sometimes when you're traversing your inventory, you also can't click off your items and it becomes a nuisance. Again, I know it's small. I'm nitpicking, but this is the stuff through, you know, quality of life and, you know, just updating and refreshing. It's going to I mean, I'm sure they're going to fix some of this stuff. OK, so that is the bag. It's Something else in here that I noticed as well is if I pulled up my skills, which is K, this is the skill menu. And now I'm like, oh, I don't want to be in my skills. I want to look back at my bag and I hit B right now. I am hitting B and it's not doing anything. You actually have to exit that menu before going back into the other menu. You can't jump from bag and then go to hero trait and then go to your visuals. Everything you enter has to be exited before you go into the next one. Again, not a huge deal, but just little things that would make the experience so much better. Now, when it comes to movement for the PC port, for the most part, it's fine. But I think through refinement, it could be even better because it's a little robotic. OK, so I'm going to zoom in. I want you to follow my character. I'm sure you can see what I'm talking about. OK, I'm going to spin in a circle right now. You ready for this? You see it? It's kind of like. Again, not bad. Combat's great. It feels smooth when you're attacking, but from a refinement standpoint, I think it could be a little better from movement wise. OK, you see that? And there's so much other stuff I want to show you. But I can't. That is overall the PC port. Let me see. Is there anything in the menu wise I want to show you? We looked at settings. We looked at bag hero traits, everything you've already seen. I've showcased all this on previous videos. I guess really for this video, what I want to say 
is that this game is very addictive. Skill system is great. Gear is great. Customization when it comes to build variety is awesome. Just needs a little bit of refinement. If they fix some of those menus, some of those clicks, being able to rebind your keys, being able to go from bags to skills and then just update movement a little bit. This game is going to compete with the big boys, OK? And future wise, I have so much more to share. But that's where I'm at right now. PC port Torchlight Infinite. Now you've got in a night. Now you've got an idea. I want to know your opinion. Is this something you can't wait to play? By the way, game is coming in October for its open beta. And I think that's going to be global and starting tomorrow. Or maybe you're watching this no tomorrow will be the last closed beta. If you want to play, I want to know your opinion. Two things at the end of this video. I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I make anywhere from one to two videos a day and I'm streaming three times a week with my podcast. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 45 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We do a weekly podcast, weekly blog post, access to the VIP lounge, access to me if you want to chat or have any questions and depend upon the rank, you get other goodies. First link in the description. That's all I've got. Torchlight Infinite PC port. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron out. <laughs>